Go long. Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at CES 2017, and I'm talking to Merlin at the PowerVision booth, and you guys make this, I have to say it's a little weird looking, this egg-shaped drone. What's the story with that thing? It's definitely unique looking. You know, here at PowerVision Robot, we're at core a robotics company, not so much a drone company, and we've actually been in business since 2009 making commercial product, everything from fixed wings and single rotor helicopters to quadcopters and rovers. And when we wanted to enter the consumer market, the Power Egg was something that we had conceived of as something that was going to be different and unique and elegant and beautiful. And so when we actually put it into practice, it was obviously an engineering marvel to get it all to, to work. But now that it's out and it's been built and it's, it obviously catches a lot of eyes and it's definitely something that we're really proud of, particularly in a quadcopter space where it seems like everything has been homogenizing over the last 18 to 24 months. So sort of run down the fundamentals for me. It's a 4K camera on an integrated three axis gimbal. Uh, you're gonna get about 23 minutes of flight times because the power egg is in and itself a unique shape. All the features and benefits that you want out of a high performance aerial cinematography piece and a little less intimidating that you might find from the other quadcopters in here today. I can see that. Now, um, what is your downlink on? Does that go to like an iPad or something? Yeah, so you're going to use a, an iOS or Android device along with our controller. And we actually do two different controller types. So not only do the two-handed controller that you know and love out of quadcopters, but taking that idea that we wanted it to be easy to use, approachable, simple to, simple to fly, we created something we call Maestro, which is a gesture-based controller, which is actually one-handed. It gives you the ability to move your arm forward and move the drone away from you, move your arm back, the drone comes back side to side. My wife, she had never once wanted to touch a controller, and I was flying Power Egg in a park with my daughter and using Maestro, and she walked up to me, the first thing out of her mouth was, let me try, let me try, let me, let me see how that works. And she had a great experience, and I took pictures because it was her first drone flight ever. You take the intimidation out of control, and you make the electronics more approachable. Now, looking around the booth here, the Power Egg is far from your only product. First up, you've got the Power B, but I didn't see a camera on that thing. What's it for? Power B is our integrated drone choreography light show platform. So it's a service that we're providing where you can have up to 120 drones flying in a choreographed pre-programmed light show where they all rise up at the same time and they all dance and do different lights and different patterns in the sky, all within about 10 centimeters of each other. Instead of a fireworks show, incredible. Yeah, Power. we're, we're really proud of Power B. It's something that we're going to be bringing to market in the United States over the course of 2017. And so Power I, that looks like more of a serious aerial video rig. Yeah, Power I for us is our professional cinematography, sort of prosumer level drone. So that one, it's got a much longer flight times. You're talking about a 29 minute flight time on that guy. You've got an integrated camera with a micro four third sensor on there with interchangeable lenses, which gives cameramen a lot more options. And then of course it's on a stabilized three axis gimbal. It's all carbon, it's all light. So it collapses down into a, an easily transportable format. It's definitely one of the pieces that we're really proud of. It's it's something that we're, we're really looking to, to make a big splash in the prosumer cinematography market in 2017. And speaking of splash, I can't get out of here without asking about the Power Ray, which is a submersible drone. It's really taken the idea of drones and, and moving it into another spectrum, and that's under the water. So Power Ray is a fully submersible drone. It goes down on a tether. There's no RF or Wi-Fi underwater. So Power Ray, we actually engineered and integrated a sonar-based fish finder, which snaps into it, and it can be pulled out as a standalone piece and still interfaces with our app. And then we've also included a, a little arm that you can attach to the top that holds your fishing line and your hook. So you can dangle your bait in front of the 4K camera and watch in stunning 4K as a fish comes up and snatches the hook, separates itself from the drone so your 22 pound snapper's not carrying around your eight pound drone in the water and then you can reel it in. So not only at the end of the day, you're gonna get this great piece of footage where you've got, this is my trophy fish, but you also have now let me show you him nibbling it or biting it. That's easy to use, easy to control, transportable and very, very elegant and beautiful, I think. It's a, an eye opener for the industry. All right, so back to the Power Egg. When's it going to be available, and uh, what's it going to cost? It's twelve eighty-eight for the whole package right now, which actually comes with. So we give you both the regular controller as well as the Maestro controller, battery, and a, and a backpack as well. Power I also on pre-sale on our website right now. Power Egg's going to be shipping in in the next month. Power I is going to follow that. It's on our website as well, and then Power Ray will be available pre-order February twenty-seventh, and uh, shipping hopefully in the spring. All right, from CES 2017, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks for everything.